If you've ever wondered why your Instagram posts aren't getting the reach and engagement that they used to, or maybe you're one of the chosen few that the Instagram algorithm smiles upon and actually shows your stuff to your followers. Crazy idea, right? I mean, Instagram actually showing your stuff to your followers. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Well, even if you're one of the lucky ones, you're probably still seeing an initial bump when you first publish a post, only to be followed by a rapid decline with your content never being seen again. Well, if that sounds familiar, don't worry. You're not alone. And I've got good news. The reason your posts on Instagram aren't getting the reach and engagement and followers that you want is probably just because you're posting at the wrong time. Yeah. It really could be that simple. Because here's the thing, the best time to post on Instagram has changed. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly when you need to be posting in order to give your content the highest likelihood of success. I'm also gonna be sharing with you a few tools and resources that make this whole Instagram marketing thing a whole lot faster and easier, and more effective too. And while this video today is not sponsored, it is supported by those of you who have signed up for the Digital Marketing Academy. You can learn more by checking the link in the description below this video and thank you for your support. So with that said, let me show you how it's done. Starting with the best time that you need to be posting on Instagram, which is at 9.56 a.m. on Wednesday. Now you might be wondering, Adam, how did you come up with such a specific time and day? I mean, that's a little bit crazy, kinda weird. I mean, is all you do nowadays study different social media algorithms and how they work in order to come up with the perfect marketing strategy? <laughs> no. But here's the thing, this time, 9.56 a.m. on Wednesday is a great starting place, but it comes with a few warnings, three warnings to be specific. First, you should know I'm not just completely pulling this number out of my thin air. So there's a method behind the madness. So if you're trying to find the best time to post, definitely start here. Next, as fortunate as I am to have been doing this whole marketing thing for over 10 years now, and with great access to other marketers and companies and software, I'm still always looking through the latest reports and anything I can get my hands on in order to double check and make sure that the data that I'm seeing at least makes sense with what the big players in the space are saying. For example, Hootsuite, Later, Sprout Social, and HubSpot all regularly put out reports on the best times to post on social media. Sometimes they break this down hour by hour, sometimes day by day, and sometimes they even break it up by different markets and businesses and industries. These are valuable reports to have and to reference, so I'll put a link to a blog post down in the descriptions below, or you're welcome to take a screenshot of this to save for future reference. Now, aside from 9.56 a.m., there are other times that are generally agreed upon, including between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., and between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. But what makes this all work is the third and most important warning of all, and that is knowing that the best time to post on Instagram is going to be hugely, wildly, almost unbelievably specific to your business, to your market, to your industry, and to your audience. But I appreciate just how completely useless the advice is to tell you, it depends. So let me walk you through exactly how to find out the best time to post for your unique audience right now. Everything I'm about to tell you can be done by digging through your Instagram analytics, but I like to use a tool called Metricool that makes the process that much easier. I'll link that up in the description below this video too. There's gonna be a lot of links down there. Oh yeah. So the key here is in identifying when the bulk of your followers are online and present and active on Instagram. Not you, not your family or your friends, but the majority of the people who follow you. This is important because when you post something, the first people that Instagram shows it to is generally your followers. Then, depending on their reactions and engagement with your content, they'll make the automatic algorithm-based decision to either show it to more people or to bury it and never let it see the light of day. This is why you wanna make sure that when you post something, the people that you actually want to see it are awake and around and on their phones. Otherwise, you could post the most amazing, life-changing and awe-inspiring piece of content the world has ever seen. But if nobody sees it or engages with it, Instagram is gonna think it was a flop and they're going to do everything in their power to avoid having anybody else see this content. So look at your analytics and find the time zones that your followers are actually in. Not you, not your friends, not your family, your followers. Next, take a look back over your previous 10 posts or so and see if you can find the times that you posted where you were getting the most reach and the most engagement. This is another reason that I like using Metricool for this as it shows me in this nice pretty pink color exactly when I should be posting to maximize my reach and engagement. And while we're on the topic of reviewing previous posts in order to see what did best, while you're there, you should also be looking for any other characteristics or similarities between your top performers. For example, are there 
any posts you have that did exceptionally well that share the same sounds or hashtags or captions or styles or anything else like that. If so, these are valuable pieces of data that you can use again in your next post. And speaking of posts, now's probably the time to talk about one of the most important elements of all. Just what exactly should you be posting anyway? And this is important, like really important. Because the truth is, if you post the wrong content at the right time, it's still not gonna get any reach or engagement. This is because right now, Instagram really only seems to be pushing and promoting one single kind of post. And in a classic, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours situation, if you give Instagram what they want, which is this specific kind of content, then they'll give you what you want, which is more reach and engagement and followers. And what Instagram wants you to make is reels, and maybe a couple carousel posts thrown in for good measure. But like all things in marketing, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this, and Instagram has recently updated their algorithm, which makes getting this right more important than ever before. So to help you get this right, I've linked up a video right here on Instagram's recent algorithm change, and how you can take advantage of it to get more reach, followers, and engagement than ever before. So make sure to check it out now, and I'll see you in the next video. Now that they're no longer a photo sharing app, the future for Instagram is video. But today I actually want to talk a bit more about video. And I want to start by saying we're no longer a photo sharing app or a square photo sharing app.